the hall, they're so excited. They have been practicing for so long and they have put so much energy into this that we are so excited to share a little bit of Cowboy Christmas with you at the Lone Manger. My name is Mrs. Fleet and I am the principal here at Trinity Elementary. Thank you for being here. A few thank yous and uh, housekeeping items before we get started. First of all, I'd like to thank our parents in the audience for giving your children the gift of Catholic education. That's something that um, can't be rivaled with, with our other our schools in the area. So thank you for that. Um, after that, I want to take uh, a minute to thank our music director and our music educator here at Trinity. She goes above and beyond for these kids. And the programs that you see at Trinity aren't just any ordinary program. And this will be an evident tonight. So Mary Ann B., if you would please stand to be recognized for your efforts. Thank you. She has been a sidekick and assistant director to Mrs. F.B. and she has also put in a lot of work. Our fifth graders are the actors and the actresses that you'll see this evening. Our second through fourth graders are the musicians in the choir. And so a special thank you to Mrs. Bosch, but as well as all of our teachers that help support the, the music and the arts here as well, and giving up some of their teaching time to have them um, be able to participate in opportunities like this. So definitely a thank you to our teachers as well. We have a few people behind the scenes that are working for us today. I would like to thank Liam and Adrian, fourth grade students here. They are going to be running the lights and the music tonight. Store who has agreed to be with us this evening. They'll be available after the show as well if you need any last minute Christmas gift items. Um, and it's also a sacramental year for our third graders, so they have many great things there. Um, I don't want to I don't want to forget anything, anybody else here. Uh, Knights of Columbus, our Knights of Columbus for being with us this evening to help get extra chairs, to hand out the programs. They are always, always a Trinity supporter. So thank you to those gentlemen and they are in the back. Thank you, Knights of Columbus. <laughs> After the concert, the students will go, just to keep it a little bit organized, the students will all go back to their classrooms. You can pick your, your children back up in the classrooms after the show is over. And at this time, I'd like to call Father Luden up. He is going to say a prayer for us before we get started. And I hope you have an amazing Christmas and enjoy the show. Father Luden. Thank you. I'm looking at the surroundings, I should say, ah, you partner. <laughs> anyway, let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we celebrate the, this time tonight, this Christmas program, we remember how Jesus, your son, was born with the, the animals in Bethlehem and laid in a manger because the innkeepers could not find room. They did not give Jesus the time in their lives. We pray that we may have the time, give the time, find the room for Jesus in our lives, tonight and always. And as we see the manger scenes, scattered throughout the area, we uh, realize that Jesus, the figure of Jesus, is always the center of that scene. We pray that Jesus may always be the center of our lives. We bless our actors and actresses, our singers, all of us tonight, and to keep us safe in your love. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>
What's the incarnation, he asked, stammering right now. We're incarnation, incarnation. That's show you on the map, but we're not very many maps. It's just a normal town, except for one thing. Incarnation has always been crazy for Christmas.
and tell me that wasn't unforgettable. <laughs> Yeah. 
Well, this part is a big gout. Boy, lots happened the last two weeks. She has that little choir ready for the first demonstration. Oh, and the big news is that Miss Polly's major just arrived minutes ago on the afternoon train. Debbie, you better look at this. When did this telegraph operator stand it this to me? She just got the message and wrote it out on hand. What is this? Egyptian hieroglyphics? Nah, it's just her handwriting. She used to be a doctor, you know. <laughs> I can't make heads, heads nor tails of it. Well, my reading this right. Looks like God's to warn us that the world's in danger as we're having the incarnation on the afternoon train today. <sighs> Same train the manger came on? Maybe he's thinking of stealing the prizes, brother. Well, y'all better keep an eye out. Stalin, you're the postmaster. You see his walking for a long time. What does he look like? He's always wearing a big, grim, black hat with a short, brown vest. Jeffy, I think I saw that all break it off the train. Big, black hat, wild brim, and a short, brown vest. Okay, then. Y'all got to keep an eye out. No, I don't want to go in. We're just going to keep this between us, okay? Yep, got it. Sure thing, Deputy. Excuse me, everyone. We'd like to have your attention. As we all know, Christmas is two weeks away, and this year is the 150th anniversary of Handel's famous piece, The Messiah. We have worked very hard on a version of the Hallelujah Chorus from that remarkable work. Oh, good. We went from 200 years ago to 150. At least we're going in the right direction. I just wish my father, Carson Whitfield, was here to see this. He was the pastor of the Dodge City Church until last year when he, well, went to a better place. My father wanted to be here today, but obviously, God had a Well, we're ready for our first performance, and all we need is for some musical accompaniment. Well, Miss Polly, we're just simple folk. We're not like the professionals who worked with back in peace. We don't got no violins or harpo folk. Uh, harpo, harpsin, <gasps> trumpets! <laughs> all we got is guitars and fiddles. That's all we need.
Due to his trip Christmas, the incarnation celebration plans move forward like a runaway train. Only thing we don't have yet are the light bulbs for Kirby's star Bethlehem. But the station master promises us they'll be here in time. What am I doing out here? Just wait for the fireworks. You're making more noise than a cat fight. There you are. Oh, we get that trap set right. It's the longest and strange it goes for the bait. We got them. For sure that net will fall on them. And if we catch them, we'll hear that bell ring.
Good to see you, Sarah's about to start. Everybody's pretty excited, except her bottle. Her water bottle stepped back in her head, she's only got one train left. It's coming in the station right now! Curly, now what are you doing? Oh, it's just Amazon. What's an Amazon? Oh, it's just this company that ships stuff by plane. What's a plane? Oh, yeah, I'm curly and I thought you were the mom and one. <laughs>
got our light bulbs and we're all set. Trouble is, not everybody's here. That can't be good. What do you want to do? Attention, attention, everyone. As chairperson of the Incarnation Christmas Committee, it gives me great pleasure to open our Christmas service and welcome guests for the very first time.
worshiping Jesus at Christmas time, this is absolutely the best one yet. And that's the way it went. The years of railroad changed everything. As years went by, more and more people broke the train to incarnation, and here the good news is the state of being born into the light of the world. What about the long man? Well, even though Clark Snow was not mistaken for the long stranger and tossed the broken, turns out he fell in love with the incarnation and set him here for good. This can say the long man in our town. Lone Ranger ain't long no more. And if I ain't mistaken, that should be the last train to incarnation. Bring friends, family, worshippers, and loved ones. But I'm getting ahead of myself. The good folks of incarnation still got some celebrating to do. We got a whole lot of good news to share. Dismissed back to the classrooms. Excellent job again. One more round of applause. Let's get to you. 